Hey everybody, it's Bruce from Nature Calls, and uh, I'm going to do a quick gift guide for backpackers or bushcrafters, hammockers, DIYers. Uh, so I did another video, I'll put a link wherever it goes, uh, to that video a couple years ago. Um, they were great gift ideas too, but these are all new, all new gift ideas. Let's start off with, um, you know, some of these will be a little bit longer to, to get and specific Companies make them. Um, I'll put all that information down below. Uh, let's start off with the Hilltop Packs. Um, they make a lot of great gear there that you can get stuff printed on. Um, camera bags, and they've got really nice backpacks. And this is their bear bag, or their food bag. And they've they put, it's probably backwards where these phones work, but um, they put my logo on there. And all this, all this graphics is all a uh, graphic that I sent them and they printed it right onto this bear bag. Isn't that cool? So uh, Hilltop Packs, let's see here. Now, I think this is real fun. I think this is, um, Something I've been looking for for a while and thinking about for a while, but from um, Hammock Gear uh, is this thing. It's 1100 cc um, or milliliter um, titanium cook pot. Um, yeah, there's lots of titanium cook pots and it does have little handles. What's cool about this one, um, if you're a bushcrafter and you like to cook over a fire, you know, put the stick out and hang it down there. This one's got the bale on it. Um, I think that's real fun to do. Um, and you can't find these very often with the bale, um, but I think that's that's. Uh, so I know I know, um, Hammer Gear makes these with the bale on them, um, and also I wanted to get a wider one. Uh, there's been a lot of like studies that have come out lately, um, not a lot of studies, but you know the wider base, better heat distribution, better efficiency. Um, I think that was uh, a lot of why I finally went and got one of these. I definitely got lots of these, but this one's going to be like my bushcraft one, and it comes with a nice little bag. Um, probably make a, a better bag for it. I don't like these bags that have holes in it. I mean, they, they, they these pots get dirty. I'm not a big, I have to clean it every time, and uh, I want to be able to throw it in my pack without getting other things dirty. Um, this will... Um, so I'll make it probably a, a pack out of this, or I'll show you something in a second. But this will be great also for um, the hot tent. It's got that wide base on it. Another thing from Hammock Gear is this cool item, um, hang time. And this clips onto your uh, ridge line in your hammock, and then you can put your cell phone in there and watch a movie while you're in the hammock, uh, which I have done, and it's awesome. Um, it has other things where you can hang headsets or whatever on, but um, I just think this is really cool. This is actually my second one. My first one was actually one of their first generation ones where it was all done with a 3D printer, which is cool. Uh, this, this is definitely a, a, a manufactured grade, but um, very cool. And I think these are like 20 bucks for one of those. But that also is from Hammock Gear. Um, this is something that I've been wanting a lot the last couple of years. Um, these are poison oh, poison ivy wipes in their own pack. Um, we do have both of those here in Washington. And I've got a little jar with a, a special medicine and you know, how to deal with it. I think this is gonna be a lot better. I can throw one or two of these in uh, my first aid kit and, and I'm good. Uh, this is like a 12 pack, got it off of uh, Amazon, I think. But um, I think that's a real great one. And you know, a lot of people won't buy this stuff for themselves, so I think it makes a great gift. Uh, along with these are the Justin's peanut butter packs, and these are just packs of organic peanut butter. Uh, great for energy, great for calories. Um, you know, you don't have to take a whole bunch with you, but uh, you know, if, for a weekend, real quick deal. There are other peanut butter uh, pack things out there. I like Justin's. Um, they're organic and I think they taste the best, but you can get Jif. You can get the MREs um, from the military. Um, that's probably your best deal. Um, I just don't think they taste as good as the Justin's. Also a little first aid book, a nice little tiny first aid book with the little little tabs on it. I did a, uh, a whole thing on first aid and what type of first aid is actually happens. Oh, statistically, uh, what should you be prepared for in the outdoors? I'll put a link for that video. Uh, 
Um, but this goes over a lot of those. A lot of it's poison, a lot of it's fatigue, uh, heat exhaustion, choking, um, burns, um, you know, scuffs, and digestive problems. But this, this has all these little tabs. It goes over all the different first aid kits. It's nice and light. It's plastic coated, so you know you can take it in and don't worry about it getting wet. But uh, you know, if not in your pack, you know, by your bedside, learn a little first aid. This is the AeroPress um, Backpacker Edition. So if you like coffee, um, any of you ever had AeroPress, it's a wonderful way to have coffee. Uh, this is their coffee system. The whole system's a little heavy. Um, so what you get with that, this is a little container. It holds like six or seven filters in it. And, and this is the press itself. This little container and a little measuring spoon and a little stirring thing. If you're going for lightweight, all you really need is this and the filters. And so that cuts about half of the weight out of it. But um, really great. Yeah, you take the bottom off, put the filter on. Then you pull this out, pour your coffee in there, scoop of coffee, pour a little hot water in there. Let that, you know, like maybe about a quarter of this container. Let that coffee bloom a little bit. And then I pour the rest of the coffee in and just kind of set that on top, let it steep for a little while, and then plunge that down, and you're going to have some of the best coffee uh, around. You plunge it right into your coffee cup. Uh, more on the safety, these are the, the storm matches. These, are, these actual ones are made by uh, Yuko, and they're the storm-proof matches. Um, they have a little... There's a waterproof container, striker on the outside. And you get a whole ton of these really cool matches. And these matches, they burn. You know, they burn for a long time. They aren't like a regular match where it just burns and then it goes to the wood. This burns, 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 burns. So it's great for getting your kindling going. Um, comes with a little tinder, uh, some more strikers. Um, you know, great. Great to have a little uh, safety in there. Uh, kind of along the food and safety, these are the Nun. They're like big fizzies for uh, your water. And you take your water and you put one of these big old fizzies in there and it's got great flavor. This one's watermelon. Got a bunch of different flavors, um, but they have electrolytes also. So real great, I think, um, you know, this great little stocking stuffer. Now for the food foodie or a bushcrafter or whatever, these Oppenels, this is the Oppenel number six. They've got a bunch of different sizes. This is actually the stainless model. They do have it in carbon steel. I do have a carbon steel one. and it, it takes a lot more maintenance than what I'm really willing to, to give, but um, it comes with a little safety ring. You just twist it and it locks the blade. Uh, but these are really cool and they're really fancy looking. So if you have anybody that's a foodie that likes to do cheese boards and all that kind of stuff, uh, great, great, another great stocking stuffer. Um, fantastic. So this is something that I've always wanted to add to my kit. So i never seen one so small, but there's a little, uh, I think it's a six times, a six by 18 field of view, 8.1 degree monocular. Uh, it's nice and small. It is a little heavy because I think they're using really good glass. Um, they, uh, I'm going to put a little lanyard so I always have it out there. Up here in Washington, we have got lots of wildlife, and it's so much more fun to get close with them. I've even put my camera up to it and used it for kind of a weird telephoto thing for my, my uh, cell phone. Um, real cool. I think if someone's in, you know, they're, it's not so big that it's heavy. Um, but if people want to have some type of way to zoom in on things, a uh, little, little binocular or monocular. And it definitely wouldn't be my site if you didn't get into little DIY. DIY. Um, this from rips up by the roll. They have a bunch of DIY kits. I pick up a kit like every month. They're so much fun. Uh, this is their uh, DCF Dyneema Roll Top Dry Bag Kit. And I've made a ton of these. They're super easy to make. Um, you can get them without the print, but they have, uh, they do have print. I think this one is, uh, called like trout and that can look great. Um, and I might even use this for my, um, 
cook kit. I mean, they, these little dry bags are really, they're really useful. Um, they're, of course, they're super lightweight. They're waterproof. Um, the kit comes with a little, everything to make it, uh, Dyneema tape, little clips. Um, they just need little, your sewing machine and your somewhat skill. All you're doing is sewing a straight line. Um, no problem. They've got a lot of other kits too. They even have one for a food bag. So um, awesome. So there you go. Bunch of gifts and I hope you have a great season and grab some of these for stocking. Um, I think any any backpacker, hiker, whatever would, would love um, any one of these. All right. See you on the trail. Bye now.